Hi everyone, this is Victor Fernandez. This is a brief behind the scenes look at the making of Luna's video and also a brief tour of the setup that I have here uh, it, using in my office for recording this video. So I'm going to go ahead and switch now to my monitor so that you guys can see what, what it looks like peeking behind the curtain. The program that I have here is Sony Vegas Pro 13. It's getting a little bit old, but it still works great. And basically this is what the finished, pretty much I think we're at the finished, we're at the end of this now. Uh, this is what the finished video looks like. So let's see what the different elements are. These long lines here are each of the different takes that we did in school. So if you are someone who, who was in this video singing, then you, will, you guys will notice that this track right here is the one where we were outside of Miss Whitbold's and Miss Delizia's room, right? Then this, oh, this one here, then this was in the courtyard, then this was in the playground, this was in my classroom. Every one of those is accompanied by an audio track represented by a different color. Like this one is red, this one is purple, this one's yellow, this one's green. And you will notice that these audio tracks are grayed out. And what that means is that they are actually muted. You don't hear them. What you do hear is these audio tracks here at the bottom, and that's actually you guys singing. So let me give you an example. If I play this section right here, you will hear guitar and voice. We wrote this song for you. So the green one down here is your voice or the voices, and the purple is the guitar. So let me mute each one so you can hear them separately. Here are voices only. We wrote this song for you. And then here is guitar. We wrote this song for you. So at the very beginning, at the very start of the video editing process, I had to line up those tracks to make sure that they were in sync. But once they're in sync, they stay in sync for the rest of the time. And then I took each of the other video tracks and I also had to make it in sync so that at the very beginning, everyone was saying, we wrote this song for you. So that was really important. Now, if I scroll up here, you will notice that there are holes all throughout the video tracks. And if you by now have seen the video, you know that there are sections where different video pops up. So what I did was I basically sliced it, I cut it and I moved it so that it would be visible. And then I faded it in and out each time to make the transition smooth. Up here, you notice there's a picture of Luna. There's another picture of Luna. There's another picture of Luna. So there are several pictures, as you can see here, and they pop up throughout the video. And so I had separate video tracks for each one of those and all of them land in a different place. So, so basically this is what it looks like when you make a video, the video, took um, the video overall is about three minutes and 10 seconds. Filming took, let's see, um, filming took at least two hours. Recording, I would say took at least an hour. And I've been editing for maybe five, four or five hours. So if you start adding all of that up, you can see that video editing is a very time consuming process, very time consuming in order to, to get a, a nice looking product that you can be proud of later. It takes time and, and usually the more time you put into it, the better your end result. Now, the video that I'm making here does not have any video editing. The, the software I'm using here is Sony Vegas, Pro, uh, it's not Sony Vegas Pro, it's OBS. As you can see it right here, this is the software that I'm using. And if you want to get a view of my whole setup, then I will show you that as well. There it is. So that's my kind of the overview of how everything looks like here. This is the webcam that I'm using as my main camera. And you can see me even on the side here. These are the two spotlights that I have. There's the microphone. That's a fan because, you know, having cool air is a nice thing. And this is a 4K monitor, 42 inches. This is a 32 inch 720p monitor. And, and then the magic, you guys, the magic where I can change all of those scenes 
you can see it down here it's the stream deck this is what makes it all work in order for me to be able to change scenes seamlessly uh, without any difficulty or tell you hey we have a video let's go ahead and get started <laughs> Or if I'm thanking the viewers for the video, like, you know, I hope that you liked this video and I hope it was insightful and interesting and let me know what you thought of it so that I can make more cool videos like this one. And so the stream deck is what powers all of that, all of that beautiful magic to happen. And so anyways, I hope this has been an interesting process, especially seeing this. To me, this is fascinating. I always liked behind the scenes. I've always liked looking at like the making of Star Wars episodes four, five, and six, where you could see those, those um, sets that George Lucas built in the 1970s. And when you see it in the film, you get a deeper appreciation for how things are made. So I, I like how things are made. And this hopefully gives you a, an insight into what that final product looks like. So you know, in terms of time and in terms of what it looks like and in terms of what the software of what the software is like. So with all of that being said, thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for learning. I will see you around. <laughs>